All right, welcome back. I'm back. So, I uh, claim that you did this. I'm back. I've returned. My point no longer needed me. <laughs> so, <coughs> I don't know if I ever told you this story, but I have to find a funny story. Um, I was at um, a buddy of mine's apartment back in college, right? We were mm -hmm. discussing doing something. I forget exactly what it was. We were making plans to do something. Um, <clears throat> Chris and leaving, we got his, his, leaving his clo his <laughs> closet? <laughs> yeah. No, no. And we were, uh, th there was four of us, Derek. Oh, okay. So you weren't alone, so I you were dragged alone. there. I alone, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> it, it, was, it was for business, ah. essentially. Or, quote, unquote, business. Um, so we were, we were doing that. And I just remember we got to a certain point, and they were, like, done going over everything they needed to go over, and he, my buds just like, so everyone can, you know, hang out if they want, or they can leave now if they have, like, things to do. And I literally got up from the couch, vaulted over the coffee table at, like, took speed, ran to the front door, grabbed it, and was like, See you, losers! And I quick in the door and started running out. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then I came back in, and everyone was like, alright, that was funny. I'll give you that. That was funny. Just <laughs> Chris being a fucking weirdo. <laughs> uh, nothing beats when an NPC slowly walks towards you. <laughs> That's why you go and talk to all of them. Oh, yeah. That was your mistake, Derek. I fucked up. That's alright, Derek. By we not being you. MLG pro enough. It's alright, Derek. We know oh, you always fuck up. You are what they call a fuck up. <laughs> oh, razor leaf. <laughs> that one really got dirty. Uh, it also doesn't help that I wasn't thinking, so I just hit fucking the fire move against the water one. <laughs> it's alright, I got you covered. I use grass. That's okay. 2v1 is always easy. Are you sure? It seems pretty balanced to me. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, another duck. Quack. Time to murder. You sure you don't want to use fire against it again? I should use fire against it again. See, now I don't get to play. <laughs> Shut up, slave mute. <laughs> Silent slave mute. Hey, we should get that Pokeball. The one that we walked past. <laughs> I went up, and that's why. Oh, that would make sense. We have, have a problem with this one? He is like a frog. He's got them back like frog like. Foghorn like horn. He likes the smell of flowers. See, at least this is actually a root. I thought they didn't make this a root, because we went through the top part, which did not exist in the original game. <laughs> <laughs> really confused me. I think you know, the top part was there, but there wasn't four tra three trainers there was, up there. There was a top part, but it wasn't separate yeah. from the route. It was like a hill that you walked down and then you were on the actual race path. Yes. Downhill path, bike path, whatever, whatever. The fuck you want to call it. Yeah, doesn't matter. This is where you see all... Uh, did you know that Vaporeon is the most uh, compatible Pokemon with humans? Gross. It's a meme. <laughs> it's, a, it's a meme from God knows how long ago, but I still think it's really funny. <laughs> it's just some, some fucking dude on the internet was literally just trying to argue that like the most compatible human with uh, po Pokemon with humans is Vaporeon because he went into like a whole egg tree like listings and shit and i was like this is way too thought out you fucking weirdo <laughs> what, about, what, about, what about the uh human shaped pokemon no apparently not apparently and honestly based off of how much research he did i kind of believe him like he's probably telling the truth it's just so weird <laughs> true very true like i'm not kidding it was like a fucking five paragraph long example of why it's true like it was Fucking ridiculous. I fucking love that shit, because it's just like, you got way too much hand time on your hands, man. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, that's a dude who really wants to fuck a big boy. 
Yes. <laughs> and has gone yes. through many loops to make sure that his reasoning is sound. It's sound. <laughs> it's not just sound for us. It's as sound as he possibly can it's, make it. it. That's literally what happened. Is uh, you, All I can think of is, like, this is a dude who wanted to fuck a Vaporeon and has continuously been asked why... And has had to explain it so many times. He that made a he post made that he can post. just say refer to yeah. post. <laughs> he can just refer to. <laughs> That's dedication. I mean, good for him. Air quotations. Who knows? There's a you know VTu- uh, VTubers. Yes. There's a VTuber named Snuffy. I don't know if you've seen. I think him. I've heard of it. Yeah. Snuffy has to be one of my favorite VTubers because she's a fucking mess. Oh boy. <laughs> she's just. All I go on. All I can think of is like, she's me if I was a VTuber and also a furry. So there's just like no filter, and then like furry levels are off the chart. (laughs) My my friend is she's gonna try to be a VTuber. Really? She's already made an avatar and everything. Got some dedication. I'm like, good for you, girl. I hey, (laughs) I if she it's let me know, fucking, I'll give her a shout out when she starts. It's my it's it's the fiance of my other buddy. I'll still give her a shout out. Which is the funny the one who's streaming. (laughs) Yeah, of course, of course. But I'm like, yep, I will. We will 100% shout them out. Fuck it. Because I know they're doing it for us. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, dude, this. Um, VTubers is one of those weird niches that I'm like, I can see why this caught on, but at the same time, I don't know if I feel comfortable with it catching on. It's weird, because VTubing is a niche, but it doesn't feel like a niche because of how many there are. But, like, when you actually go to their channels on YouTube and, like, see how many people are, like, actually subscribed to the VTubers, they're normally not that big. Like, even the biggest ones are, like, barely hitting, like, a million subscribers. Which is, like, tiny for YouTube standards. It's one of those weird things that I'm like... Weird. But there's, like, so many of them. Mainly because they're funded by companies, but, like... Yeah. There's, like... I mean, what is it? Hollow Live, I think, has, like, fucking 30 of them. What? Yeah. Because they release them in gens. So, it's like, right. first gen is, like, five, and then second gen will be a new five, and then third gen will be a new five on top of those five, and, like... So they end up having like thirty of them in only like two to three years, and because, I'm like, why? Because are we they doing had because <laughs> the company's like, we need to have more people watching our things, but so we'll find a niche for each each of them. It's it's not even the niche. Normally, it's for region, right? Oh yeah, like yes, they, yes, they yes, do yes. like English, Japanese, Korean. They just added fucking um, Vietnam, I think, or Thailand. I think it's Vietnam. They added like Vietnam, I think. It was like a recent one that was just like. Wow. <laughs> oh, I guess if there's a market, then there's a market. I guess. But, huh. They had, um... But it was, um... But what's weird to me is that they released multiple gens in those markets. Like, I think their the Japan one is obviously the original one, but I think they have, like, fuck it. I think they're up to, like, Gen 5 or 6 for Japan. Specific VTubers. Yes. And, like... Um... Like what's battle with his babies? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, they're up to like five or six for like Japan, and then they're like they'll do like sub ones too, or it'll be like this is Gen blank, but then they'll be like this is a new group that isn't like Gen two, but is like specifically gamers, and like only gamers, and then they end up getting like shuffled into Gens later anyways. So it's like what was the point of doing any of that? But whatever. Um, <laughs> This just sounds like a you problem. <laughs> uh, it's not a me problem. It's a fucking... Uh, By that I mean, like, it's a them problem. Yeah, like, it's a... What I want to say is, it's an analytics problem. It's just, like, why are we filling out so much of the market? Like, they're literally oversaturating flooding. the market with fucking VTubers. They're flooding their own market, <laughs> Yeah, and it's mind-boggling. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, I don't understand it either. That makes no sense Well, I to mean... Me. It, it makes sense in the thought process of, like... More VTubers equals more money for us. Because it doesn't matter how many people follow, whatever money they make, we get a cut. Yeah, that's So, true. like, they just make as many as possible, and if you flounder or not, it literally doesn't matter to the company. Yeah. Here's what I've found out recently, which I thought was interesting, and it's that, like, pretty much all of Hollow Life English specifically, the first run of English, is, like... 
people who are already, like, talented or doing shit that just kind of got, like, scooped up for English. Because <laughs> I guess uh, Iron Mouse, like, did, like, tried out for Hall Alive English. She did not get it. Which I think is the biggest whiff on their part ever, because Hall, well, Iron Mouse is by far the biggest goddamn VTuber that's, like, independent at this point. Not that any of them were independent because they filmed their own fucking studio. Which I still think was stupid, but whatever. Um, but fucking, uh, yeah, no, like, fucking, Ka uh, Kelly is, like, Kelly is fucking Demon Dice. Which is a fucking rapper, artist, music video, animator, fucking, like, just, just not, like, a bunch of shit. The other one already, uh, Gar had an already popular YouTube channel where she was another VTuber. Fucking even, even Rubber Ross made his his own VTuber thing. Yeah, he did. Which I'm like, okay. It's like, well, whatever. It's just all like popular people just doing something else for the sake of doing something else. I, I I don't know. It just seems weird. A lot of VTubers are actually people who were already semi popular on the internet that just decided to then do VTubing shit and hide it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just the weirdest fucking setup. I don't know. I don't know either. It's, I don't know. It's, it's unique. It's, it's unique. It's something. <laughs> One guy, on fucking Connor, uh, Sea Dog, the fucking voice actor guy who does a lot of shit with VTubers, mm -hmm. he got in trouble once because he said, like, well, being a VTuber is, like, easy for, like, all of because you just, like, you debut and then you just got, like, thousands of subscribers without, like, trying at all. And, like, he was in the middle of a chat with one of the other VTubers and they're just like, uh, because they don't want to start, like, problems. And I'm like, well, he's right. I'm like, literally, the company just, like, <laughs> guarantees you yeah. a fuck ton of money, like, up front. That's, that's pretty true, though. That's the sad thing. Yeah. I mean, that's how it's always been. You get popular people and then tell them they're doing a new thing and people will just, like, follow them to it. Yeah. I mean, PewDiePie literally started a joke channel called Jacksepticeye 2 <laughs> and got, like, fucking 5 million subscribers to it and never posted to it once. Oh, my Just because God. people knew he made it. That's fucking hysterical <laughs> and I love it. That is so funny. He got a golden play button for it. <laughs> Which is hilarious, and I love that. <laughs> it's shit like that that I'm like, why would you? And then I'm like, nope, this is the internet we're talking about. Yeah, that's just how it works. Is this a Rapidash? Yes, this is a Rapidash. It's you huge. You didn't have to get a pony? Dark did it before I was ready. There was a pony top by us. We almost got it. We were so close. What I mean is, like, um, I'm surprised it's just wild Rapidashes. And they don't make you get a Ponyta, and then go from there. Who fucking knows, man? This is Pokemon. Then again, I guess in the original game they had that too. Rapidash was just like really rare, though. I think it was like a two percent or something, or a five percent mm -hmm. on the route. We haven't played a Pokemon. Random <laughs> encounters. <laughs> it's, it's dark. Are you dead? A little bit. You died. I can tell. Oh, there's a there's a there's a Rapidash right there. And right there, we'll get this one. It's a ponytail, Derek. Ponyta, you know what I mean. We just caught a rabbit. Shh. It's tiny. It would be perfect breeding mates with the one that's huge. Breeding's not in this game. The fuck? Find rule 34 it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that where we were going with that? I thought that was where we were going with that. Yep. <laughs> so... Shiny Rapidash and Ponyta are, are kind of a really cool one, because it's just a blue flame, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. It is a cool one. Uh, in Legends, Pokemon Legends, they just give you a shiny Ponyta. Oh, really? Which I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> I'll take it. It's a nice oh, another choice. One. Oh, man, you ran right into it. But you... So I was telling Excellent. my friend, who really enjoys Pokemon Go... Mm -hmm. about how you're saying the mobile version is vastly superior to this thing. Yeah. And she's just like, no, I mean, I like this one. And I'm like, well, Chris made this comment about how Pokemon can't run away from you mid-throw. Yes. And she goes, no, he has a good point there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like, really bad. It also makes you just feel like the game crashes, because when they do run away, it freezes everything on the screen. 
So it's like, did a game crash? Like, what the fuck happened? We haven't caught Pokemon in a while, so... <laughs> it's, so let's catch we'll, everything Let's catch breeds. everything. It's like, so let's catch everything that breathes. Horse Pokemon are popular on level 34. I bet. I can't, for the life of me, figure out why, though. Me neither. <laughs> for some reason, it's something in my gut saying they're, they're just randomly popular. Yeah. It's, I it's, think people just like Rapidash. It's just how it is. I mean, people... Yeah, I guess people are just really into the flaming horse. I mean, it is technically a unicorn. People are into that shit, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's a little weird that they're never with other Pokemon, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. look at that. That's one right there. That oh. Rapidash wanted to kill you. <laughs> that Rapidash... Holy shit, he dodged. That Rapidash was like, I heard you're talking shit. <laughs> what is this game? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be a perfect 45 degree angle, even slightly off, you weren't hitting your target. Dude, this guy's like, I'm gonna, I don't like any of this shit. Almost got it my ass. <laughs> Almost got it. Sure. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want to say. We caught it. <laughs> ah, dude, now we'll go send it to Professor Oak and he'll turn it to paste. I was just about to make that joke. I'm like, cool, now let's delete him from the box. <laughs> Teach uh, him to give us a hard time. <laughs> ah, dude, catch combo of two? Wow, can Would you get catch a catch a combo of 50 and then get Chinese for it? Yes. Psyduck. Do we have Psyduck? I don't know if we have a Psyduck. Let's, let's find catch one. one. Let's, let's find out. Let's catch one. We did have a Psyduck, unfortunately. We did? Yeah. I chose the Pokeball on the side, so I know we had one. I don't remember catching a Psyduck, but apparently we had I one. I don't either. <laughs> I honestly don't either. There's a fucking helicopter going over my house. I, if that I think somebody up. broke out of prison. Yeah, it's like, I wonder if that's. Yeah, I hope that gets caught up on Mike. It's like right over my it's house. Right it's above you. Really close. This is loud as shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they fly helicopters around here quite frequently because people tend to grow weed around this area, and they're trying to catch what? people who've grown like way more than they should. People grow weed around here? Yeah. No. Fucking they they caught um. Uh, I think it was like a year or two ago. They like caught someone who had like a fucking farm level of fucking weed in his backyard and it like wasn't a secret like i remember every time i would drive down that side of the road you could smell it from like miles before you even hit the house because let me just say this as someone who you know exists in this planet weed has a very uh distinctive yeah, smell it's a very distinct smell and uh i work with the public <laughs> You know when people have been fishbowling in their car. Yeah, you there you go, I'm using my weed terminology, Chris. Dude, you're so hip. Mm-hmm. I, too, think it's really uh, crazy when people are smoking the wacky tobacco, as they say. As them hip kids say. <laughs> the wacky tobacco. The wacky tobacco. Oh, fuck. Are we dead yet? When people are making out with Mary Jane, you know what I mean? Are we dead yet? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. The wacky tobacco. The wacky tobacco. I don't know where that one came from, but I love that one. That's my favorite <laughs> that one. Good. That's my favorite uh, name for weed. Because <laughs> it's not even tobacco. Uh, the joke is, I think that you smoke it like tobacco, though. Uh, <laughs> this is wacky tobacco. <laughs> I assume that came from like the sixties or something, or like the seventies. Wacky fucking tobacco. I'm smoke so it. glad this game doesn't have abilities, because sturdy is one of the most obnoxious yeah. abilities. I agree. I mean, not that it would matter in this fucking game, because he was sturdy and then I would kill him. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> he'd, just, he'd sturdy and then I would murder him. Oh no, I hope he didn't miss anything during this side route over here. No. You picked up a berry. I picked up a berry? You picked up a career candy. 
You want to come talk to this guy? I will in a moment. Alright. Just seeing if there was any other trainers. Ah, oh, this route, the Pokemon Road is soothing, isn't it? This isn't what it's called. Battle. Battle this trainer. Teach him what's for. Teach him the one-two punch. You run into me. Coach. Dude, we're at a type disadvantage. I don't have an electric move anymore. Oh no, I'm a grass type. I'm dead. You'll have to change your Pokemon, Chris. I'm fucking dead. I'm gonna at least see them. Do it. That'll keep me alive. Dude, he's burned, so we're all good. We're so dead. Oh wow, you lived. <laughs> see, told you, Derek. Now that he's leech-seated, I ain't dying ever. Look at how much health this is. Exactly. <laughs> there it Dude, is. Dude, 15 health? Yeah, he can't kill me. He only did, you. like, 20 damage? I wasn't looking. <laughs> Dude, you know what you should do next? Should poison powder him. Pedal oh, wait, dance. he's burnt. <laughs> Pedal dance. Got him. God, dude, we're Venus such a good combo. Venusaur is unstoppable. Yeah. Do you want to use Charizard now? <laughs> no, Derek, I'm feeling the Vini. The Venusaurus. Just. And this is a bug type, which means I'm strong against it. Wait. No, reverse. <laughs> reverse. <laughs> Wait. Reverse. It's alright. It's, it's dead. dead. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, you fucking killed it, dude! <laughs> you fucking killed it, brah! Stop, stop, he's already dead! He's already fucking dead, bro! Oh, dude, it failed. Dude, he's gonna send out a sand slash. You got the type advantage now. Oh yeah, but what I was gonna say about Snuffy before I got fucking totally distracted about her being weird is, uh... Because it related to the, the fucking uh, Vaporeon thing. She would she said that, and they did the Pokemon Smash or Pass. Oh boy. And of course she would smash all the Eevees. But she right when they got to Vaporeon, she was just like, Did you know Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon with humans? And I'm like, yes, the memes, they never die. <laughs> just, this is why I love you. Like, Chris, if you were a VTuber, <laughs> you, people would just be watching you and be like, what is this person on? <laughs> yeah. Except I'd be a VTuber, so people would take it as endearing and cute. Ah, yes. Because I'm a VTuber. <laughs> yes. Not You're not just a fucking weirdo, you're a VTuber. See, I'm a disembodied voice here, so I'm just seen as a psychopath and possibly harmful to others. <laughs> yes. See, if I had a cute avatar, they'd be like, how endearing. <laughs> but yeah, I we, don't, so like I'm if, a danger. We had, if, we had, if we had avatars of our pictures, they'd be so endearing. Uh, I would... I mean, our take. Our avatars are hella cute, though. Yeah. That, that was my choice. <laughs> that one was actually my choice. I know. <laughs> Mega Dragon? Also, I like, I like mine, because mine looks like he's been through some shit. <laughs> yes. Do, 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 do. Dude, I was five. talking to. You were talking to? I was, um. um existing in this plane of reality we call our own? Yeah, I'm also looking at the time and I'm like, uh, we got like a minute. I'd say we'll call it here, though. Yeah, let's call it here and then we'll pick it up in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.